people that donate blood now is like really saving my life. And it, it'll be, it'll be, I'll be grateful for more people and more people to start donating blood, not just for me, but for all the other cancer patients that, that need blood or platelets. This 21 year old told me he knew he had a fight on his hands. Terrell Wilson battled leukemia for 15 months. It was a brave fight and he never asked, why me? But Terrell lost the battle on Christmas morning. We first met Terrell when the Local 6 Get Fit Club donated blood last month. It was through this donation that we learned Fit Club member Amy Borman's blood could be used by Terrell. Doctors said this blood would give him more time while the search for a bone marrow match continued. It saves people lives, like, or it keeps people living. I'm not saying that it cures the leukemia, but the leukemia eats away all, at, at all that. So I'm, I, need, I needed it, like, a lot. I need probably platelets more than I need blood, but I need both. The blood and platelets gave Terrell some extra time. But as for bone marrow, a match wasn't found in time. Florida's blood centers worked up until Christmas Eve looking for that match. They tell me they need more donations from African Americans because there aren't enough. It was even harder to find a match for Terrell. And he knew how difficult that search would be. As time go on, even if when I do, when I do leave this earth, I still want people to donate. I don't want people to just stop at all. Since I met this incredible young man six weeks ago, I've spoken to him every day. We became close, talking about his battle with leukemia. We talked about his favorite sports and the Buccaneers and the magic. We talked about what tomorrow might bring, but he didn't dwell on the fact that he was in the fight of his life. Terrell had an infectious smile, a heart of gold, and he was determined to fight the terrible disease that invaded his body. He was upbeat, never blaming anyone. He always looked ahead. He was simply full of hope.